All right, folks, let me show you the setup. We have our BVM. It's currently hooked up to 15 liters per minute. It is going with a P valve set to 15 centimeters of water. At the stem, we have one end tidal adapter, which is going to auction on the wall, which currently is at zero LPM, zero. And then you have a second end tidal CO2 uh, simply to allow us to go to our cuffolator. And there's the cuffolator there. And we have a test lung. And what we're gonna do is deflate the lungs. And you can see, remember, it's on a PEEP of 15 and the highest that will go is, let's see, right now it's at two. So you can see that two. And once the lungs are inflated and they're slowly inflating, it will get up to about six. So you can see what's coming out of the bag at 15 liters per minute is minimal. And eventually it might work its way up. Still really at two. All right, well, let's go up to flush rate. This is flush rate on the BDM. We'll again deflate. At flush rate, we can get up to six. Six of peep, even though it's set to 15. So we're definitely getting a little bit more, but not anything sufficient to have high flow or the peep you want generated. All right, I'm gonna go back to 15. All right, that's 15 liters again. And now we're gonna add in wall oxygen at four liters and you'll see the difference. So this is simulating the nasal cannula and we'll start again deflating. And you can watch the lungs deflate, that's four liters. So you can see the lungs are inflating much more quickly. And once they get inflated, our peep will start to rise. And there it goes. All right, so we were set to 15, and it looks like we got about uh, six, 15, yeah, we got about 15. And you can see the difference in the lung inflation uh, was dramatic. Now, probably the ideal is six liters per minute through the nasal cannula for high, high peak settings. So that's six. Let's see. You can see very rapid inflation of the lungs. And there it goes. So that was six liters of nasal cannula or post-stem um, oxygen supplementation. All right, now let's just, for craps and giggles, we've got a flush rate, and we'll keep it the same six liters on the wall, deflate, and the two combined very quickly. So what can we take home from this? It's that without the supplementation, the BBM's flow is way too low to do anything. At flush, maybe you get five a peak, and there's going to be a big period of de-recruitment between breaths um, while it's inflating. So I would say high flow on the BBM, and you need supplemental FiO2, in this case through a multi-purpose adapter and an end tidal CO2 port, um, 